Jason! Oh, sorry, sorry! First of all, what you've witnessed this week by the media and the establishment is fear. They fear this. They fear a movement that can be politicised across this country. I'm going to be honest as well. I don't want to seem like I am jumping on the Brexit bandwagon because I, wa I was not one of the main campaigners for Brexit. I devoted all, all my time and attention to the Islamisation of this nation. But the reality is, whilst we're governed by Brussels, all the problems that I speak about, all the problems that I raise cannot be solved and cannot be sorted unless we govern our own country and we're not ruled by I want to say a thank you, a thank you to UKIP, a thank you to Jared Batten, a thank you to Nigel Farage, a thank you to everyone who fought, because many people, when I, when I spoke to Jared, 25 years of their lives dedicated to bringing us that referendum, they dedicated their lives, they worked tirelessly, and now they're being slandered and attacked. And even to the fear-mongering, the complete fear-mongering this week of violence at this demonstration, of riots, of fucks, and the reality is beautiful British people. And to be honest, up until this vote, I didn't believe in democracy. I never thought they'd let us leave. I'm still not sure they will let us leave, but I never thought that vote would go that way. And what that wakes you up, and I had a lot of time to think even when I was in prison, we can't be on the outside, we have to be involved. And that's what this is about, or that's what this needs to be about. And many people, I know that Lord Pearson's here to talk today as well. Hey! Do you know the entire establishment are against him? The same with Gerald, you've seen many people resigning, many people quitting. And I hope that they see there was basic fear mongering, just like us leaving. Complete fear mongering. And if the, if the government believes that they can get away, I said, would they? That they can get away with ignoring the vote of 17.4 million people. What they need to know is that all of these people who have travelled here on a Sunday morning, two weeks before Christmas, these people are ready to campaign, they're ready to join, and they're ready to move to the streets whenever we want to ask them to. And I, keep, I keep hearing them talk about the economy. The economy, the economy, the economy. And fear mongering about it. I think most people I know who voted, they didn't think of the economy. They thought more about their culture and their identity. And I did, I did prepare a speech here, but to be honest, God, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the Brexit issues to the people who've been campaigning for 20 years and working tirelessly for it. And I think all of them, I think what you witnessed this week as well, the amount of pressure that must have been on Jared Batten this last week, and he's still standing here. That is a events like this possible, to all of the stewards, to the police. We thank the police today as well, because they've been great as well. So thank everyone here. Oh, Tommy, Tommy! Tommy, 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 Tommy,